tower is all that stands between light and darkness. For thousands of generations, the gunslingers were knights, sworn to protect it. Now I'm the only one left. The tower will fall. So Walter is a very dark character, and Roland is kind of like the hero. What do you guys think, in life, do you guys think there's really a difference between a bad guy and a good guy, that's sort of good versus evil? Hell yeah. yeah. Or heaven, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I do. Yeah, I think there is, yeah. Uh, you know, the, the, a good guy is a, is a guy that uh, probably, you know, wants you to do well, and a bad guy does not want you to do well, does not want anything good to surround you. That's my opinion. Uh, there's a real difference in thought pattern there. You know? Yeah, you got high eyes and low eyes. Now, do we all have that capacity in us to be either one? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, we got people in our own country that don't give enough credit to the evil that mankind possesses, and you also got a lot of people in civilization that don't give enough credit to how great or magic, as you used the word earlier, a man, a woman can be. Um, you know, there's a great Texas Ranger quote. Wow. It says, uh, um, you can't, a bad guy can't stop a good guy if he keeps on a coming. <laughs> what do you guys think? I thought in the movie it was That's very good. interesting how Jake, at first, he's perceived to have sort of like a mental illness because of the dreams he's seen and things yeah. like that. Um, what do you, what, is, what is your guys take on the way that was portrayed in the film and mental and how mental illness should be addressed? That's a good question. Um, I they call it on the spectrum. A lot of things. Huh? You know, they call it on the spectrum. Yeah. A lot of things. Um, I mean, look, my you know my guy, the man in black. I got rid of his mom, basically by exposing her hypocrisy of going. You were going to send your son off to the funny farm. You didn't believe that he was the next one or the chosen one. Um, so I can speak for my guy who's a man in black, how he thought about it. I'm not sure that it's entirely true that he was, you know, it's mental illness. I think trauma, because of his father dying, was really the focus, and he was seeing a child psychologist to deal with trauma, per se. You know, the psychologist was saying, you know, this is about your dad. Right. Uh, and I think that, um, you know, hey man, listen, in film, there could, uh, there's a lot, not way to go when we talk about mental Ill illness and how it's portrayed in films. A lot of times it's, uh, you know, glamorized and romanticized in a way that's nowhere near the truth. Not so in this film, I don't think so.